Jocelyn with us. Hey Jocelyn! <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. hey! Yeah, sorry. <laughs> how, no, like, are you, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, you've managed to come over to the south of the river. Uh, you're not having any allergic, she's having an allergic reaction. No, I'm fine now. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm alright. I used to hang out in South London a lot. Did you? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's all my friends are from South. Oh, okay. And they refused to come over to Hackney. But I always see, I'm like, because I'm, I'm born in South, so I always used to say, why, I used to say to my dad, like, why am I not in the, on the other side of the yeah. river? Because I always feel like nothing really happens on the south, or we're always trying to get over there. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> it's not. I used to love coming over to the oh, south, because okay. that's where all the, all the raves seem to be happening yeah, in the yeah. south, <laughs> and they were cheaper. Yeah, true. But <laughs> I'm glad that you're here. So you might know Jocelyn, three non-blondes, Little Miss Jocelyn. Desi's child, <laughs> Catwalk, Naomi Campbell standing. That's it. <laughs> Sometimes. All no. of that stuff. So, I mean, you've done so much in the career. I hope we can get through everything. Uh, you started uh, with uh, three non-blondes. And um, that's kind of what uh, kind of propelled you into yeah. into it, and that's what got you noticed. And then you like that word propel. <laughs> and then you had Little Miss Jocelyn, which probably most you know most known for. And it was, and it's such a huge achievement. I remember because I remember thinking there was nothing on TV like what you were doing. Yeah. I was just like, I was like, oh my gosh, what's this? I was like, is this the UK or is this American? Because you know, you used to see that in America, but in, in, to have that in the UK, to have like, you know, a black female comedian having her, her own sketch show, it was like, amazing. Yeah. How did that even come about? Um, well, it started from Three Non Blondes, right. um, from uh, being in Three Non Blondes and, and writing on Three Non Blondes as well. Mm -hmm. And then um, and then just literally while I was doing Three Non Blondes and started developing, you know, another show. Because yeah. usually, I think you usually like, work on something and you think, oh, what's the work to work on me? I need more work. <laughs> so I started like um, developing characters mm -hmm. and then when the BBC was speaking to me about, are you interested in doing your own show? Yeah. And I thought, hmm, all right then. Because I had all these characters like in my head, mm -hmm. so I need counselling. Yeah. So I kind of like um, just like put them, start developing them a bit more. Yeah. And um, yeah, and then I kind of it, it took a little while. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of like live shows mm -hmm. and kind of showing the BBC what I was trying to do, the characters, because because no one had really seen those kind of characters on TV, like you said before. So um, so it, that was a bit harder, like trying to make them like find characters, find that, like, finding yeah. a traffic warden mm -hmm. funny, you yeah. know, um, and bus drivers, you know, because I like to do the characters that, like, I saw lots on my way here today. Mm. <laughs> They're still around. Oh my gosh, this is, see, the, I think South London and, and Hackney, that's where you get, that's where I get the best ideas, yeah. the inspiration, because I look at these characters and I think, I couldn't even write that actually, mm -hmm. they were all over South London right now. So I would like, you know, so I think characters like bus drivers, you don't really, I never saw anyone like, you know, uh, portraying a bus driver yeah. like that. So I, um, so it was just about um, me kind of like developing what I wanted mm -hmm. to do and then, and then literally just passing on to producers and BBC and, and I kept having like show them and like mm -hmm. perform bits and pieces right. in live shows. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you know, then it, then it took off. And because you even had like the lollipop lady, and people are like, oh, and it's, it's, but it's so true when you go into the clubs and you have that lollipop lady there, but you've just, I don't know, it's just like people probably didn't realise that before they watched your show and they're like, no, yeah, I've yeah. seen that. It's, and that's happened, it does happen. It's funny because when I, when I first did it, I only saw a few of them, and yeah. since I did it, I just keep yeah. seeing them now. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I do, I, I usually like, if I see a character similar to mine, mm -hmm. I will kind of do my character to them. Yeah. And, um, and it's only occasionally that they've actually seen the show. Most of mm. the time they haven't seen the show. Mm. So I, I just look like a mad woman just yeah. saying to this toilet attendant, hey, you have lollipops. <laughs> and they're like, why are, you, why are you talking in that accent for? Mm. And I'm like, oh, I'll have to leave now. Yeah, yeah. Th those are my fun characters. Though. Yeah, I love those characters. I even got so excited. I didn't even give you your icebreaker question, which we usually do oh my with goodness, everyone. I, forget about the icebreaker question. Yeah. What is this? I love this things is, like this. I, I love shiny things. I'm a magpie. <laughs> oh my God, that's going missing. Oh, I love it. What is that? I don't even know where, where it came from. See, for Christmas, love, this is what I would like. Don't give me jumpers and socks. I don't need jumpers and socks. Give me shiny containers like this. This is what I love. I love so, things like this in my bathroom and no one can touch it. And I see it. You put some soaps and yeah. some, you know. <laughs> Wait, which one? Oh, no, if I don't like it, then I'll just pick another one. No, you have to do that one. No special treatment. <laughs> special icebreaker question. If a movie was made of your life, what genre would it be? And who would play you? I love horrors. Really? Horrors are just my... So people would probably thought you would say comedy? No. I hate comedy. <laughs> Not really. No, I'm um, horrors. Horror, or, or comedy horror, actually. Yeah. So maybe more like that, but um, I, lo I love horrors. And um, 
Because who would play me? <laughs> Chris Rock. <laughs> Chris Rock in drag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it would be very funny. <laughs> yeah, I like oh, horrors. That's, that's my thing. Yeah, I do, I do a lot of good, a good horror. Yeah, I like to be scared yeah. and then watch a comedy afterwards. Wait, wait, so would you like, oh, would it be like, like a scary movie? Or is that just a bit too much comedy? No, too much comedy. I need, I need to be really, really scared. Right. And I like those little moments. Like, like um, I suppose like the zombie films. They mm. have that... that um, Juxtaposition. I'd like yeah. some juxtaposition. Can we get that in there? Yeah. <laughs> so I like I like when you know you're you're really really scared and then mm -hmm. there's a then there's a little joke yeah. like like killers when, yes. when killers are funny. Mm -hmm. I love I love things like that because that just messes with my mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we <laughs> oh god, I'm I'm like, I'm I'm really scared. Scared. see what I mean? No, no horrors. I hate them. <laughs> I love them. I hate them. I love them. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I like in the cinema. <laughs> I couldn't go to the cinema with you. No, no, I'm like that. I'm the one who goes like that. <laughs> My knee comes oh, up. Like, and they're like, don't go in there. Don't go in there. Like, shout in the cinema. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's me. That's me. That's me. What's she doing? What's she doing? Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, going back to your acting. Uh, is it acting? Has it always been something you do? Because I, I don't know if this is true. Because you know when you read stuff and you're like, is that, is that what actually happened? Yes. They said that you studied law. Is that true? I did. Well, only like I studied it. I did A level law. Okay. And then, uh, and then I kind of like was gonna have the chance to take it further. Right. Um, but then no, I just thought I want to do acting. Mm -hmm. and law. That was for my dad. Right. Yeah. That was that was purely for my dad. You know. Yeah. I was gonna become a lawyer just to make him happy. I'm actually gonna ask you because I'm being confused whether because it says one minute it says you're a Nigerian from that Nigerian heritage and the next bit says you're from Ghanaian heritage. Nigerian. Right, I've always got confused because someone says your your surname is a Ghanaian name. No, so it's people get Well, it's, it's both. Yeah, it's both. It's right. a Nigerian name. There is a town mm -hmm. in Nigeria called Essien Town. Right, okay. And that's where it comes from. Because there's like, I run that town! <laughs> no, I don't. Because there's Michael Essien, who's it's Ghanaian. my cousin. <laughs> I used to pretend he was my cousin for some people. No, why? You yeah. Like, you to men though, only men that like <laughs> listen to watch football. When I'm like over the phone, I'm trying to like um, spell out my surname. They go mm. Essie, and they go, oh, and I go, yeah. That, they go, really, like Michael S? I said, yeah, he's my cousin. But I don't want to talk about it. And I get your discount. <laughs> oh, oh no, but it's true. But it's true. But he's just you just gone in, and you're just. Doesn't matter. There's these people on the phone. <laughs> they don't know, innit? They think it's all the same. Just give me a discount for the MLT <laughs> test, innit? <laughs> so you're okay. So you had you did law in A levels. Yeah. And then and then you went to Guildhall. Yes, yes, to study drama. And then after that, and then how was it after you left? Because some people think then when you leave drama school and then wow, bam, bam, is it job? Was it bam like job? Well, there's a job. What? It was um, it, it wasn't bad because it because yeah. um, I always feel bad saying that I I worked or what because I kind of actually. I remember I did the fast show mm -hmm. um, while I was still at drama school. Like right. while I, just before I left, I um I, I met Paul Whitehouse mm -hmm. and I had an audition, blah blah, just a little bit, so nothing big. And um, so, but when I left drama school, I I got an agent and mm -hmm. I started. I did start acting. It was all straight stuff, no mm -hmm. comedy. Right. It was all straight stuff. But then I also started stand up. So mm -hmm. I never had the problem of. Oh, I've got no work. Mm. What am I going to do next? Because when I wasn't acting, mm. I'd be doing stand up, and I was doing like the stand up circuit for years. So, um, so, I, so that that kind of helped me yeah. as well, you know. But then I know, then as time went on, um, I realised that I really, really wanted to do more comedy, mm. and um, and then I kind of like started writing more, you know, for like obviously for like things like Three Numb Blondes, yeah. etc. But it was mainly straight stuff I was doing. I so thought I was going to the RSC <laughs> to play Lady Macbeth. But you're, you go, you're gifted, and I'm not saying that's the only thing you do, but you're very like, you're, your characters are just, even like people are like, bring that Little Miss Jocelyn, we want it back on TV, because yeah. everyone's so there was a, disheartened when it went. Well they started um, a, um, what do you call it, a petition? Yeah, yeah. They started a petition, then it stopped, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> tweeting them like, what's happening with the petition? <laughs> so, but that was really nice, but they, they started about, but the, the, the joy is that, I am gonna be um, coming back mm -hmm. with them. Um, I don't know if it'll be Little Miss Justin because it's a bit um because I know they're they're doing all these revivals yeah. now and um I don't think I'm at that that kind of status mm -hmm. where it can be brought back. I think that's right. more like things like Real McCoy and stuff because that's like people really want there. Real McCoy. Like yeah, <laughs> but I just I think I don't think I'm at that status mm. yet. But um but um, I am I am actually doing I'm like literally writing another show yeah. at the moment. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and and developing other shows mm -hmm. too. So it's the, this is the year it all. Because people are like, can we just like talk about like black comedy? Like people still say at the moment, especially UK black comedy, there's still a big gap when it comes yeah. to sketch shows. It seemed like it was getting better, and now it's kind of like it's not really. It seems like with sketch shows in particular, there's not really much happening at the moment. Yeah, I think I think almost as well. 
sometimes it seems like sketch shows are on their way out, right. depending on what you do with them. Yeah. Because um, I think even even then, um, like you know, when when white people do sketch shows, mm. sometimes it's just a, it's just a little bit too dated, and yeah. I think because things and times are changing. I think there needs a, there's, there needs to be some kind of new injection, mm. but um, I wouldn't even say just sketch shows. I would just say black people in comedy yeah. in general. Uh, yeah, there's there aren't there aren't as many when I was doing it. Um, I thought that once my show ended, yeah. <laughs> then there'd be like there'd be loads loads more. But yeah. it, it actually hasn't been that way at all. Mm. And um, I remember there was a time when like the Real McCoy was on. Desmond was yes, on. So um, get up, stand up, blouse yeah, and skirt. Yeah. I mean, the list goes on, and it looks like. It looks like we were like spoiled yeah. then, because mm. when you compare it to now, it is like we're going backwards, which yeah. I think is a really sad thing. So hopefully, you know, I'm kind of like working on things to get, you know, get things moving again. I don't know, touch wood. Where's the wood? <laughs> Give me the wood down. I don't know if it's real. <laughs> yeah, so I think, I think uh, yeah, because it, it feels like we're going backwards. Mm. There actually isn't anything. We had loads of things on it's before. It's more than 90s. It's weird that it's not really as much now, yeah. now that we're reaching we're in 2014 yeah, yeah. now. And even like, I think even like films, TV series, there's even though I know you're in Another Hood, yeah. but you'll think there'll be more of that kind of comedy coming out, but still it was like Another Hood came out, and it was like, it was like one of its kinds. It was like, even when I remember that being out, I was like, whoa, where did that come from? It was yeah, like, yeah, UK yeah. black comedy. Uh, even though I know it has it's been something as well. in, in the past, but it hasn't been that much. I think film is where it, it's amazing, it's all happening. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's more to do with TV because obviously TV is more it's more accessible. You know, they people are more likely to to, to watch TV rather than go to the cinema mm. if they can't afford that. So I think with TV is where it's really important. It's happening in theatre constantly. Yeah, always. always Colour blind yeah. casting mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and just um, you know, I mean, I just did Panto where I played a. The, the Empress of China, who was Nigerian, and had a an Italian, yeah. half Italian, high, half white daughter. Amazing. But you know, you're not going to yeah. get that anywhere else. Yeah. Um, but you know, like in theory, it's always happening. Mm. Things are always. Um, you're always going to see lots of like black, brown, yellow, green, whatever different faces on the stage. Mm. But it's not. It's not transferring onto TV. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where it's stagnant. It's stale there, and I think that mainly needs to change. Yeah. They need to listen to all the other mediums. Mm. Like music, it's. Music, you can't move for like you know for for black music, mm. urban music, mm. whatever you want to talk call it. it. It's and you know and fashion the same thing. Yeah. But you know it's it's TV, mm. TV in in particular, and not just comedy. I think I think TV you know across the board. Uh, if you're not watching soaps, you may get to watch TV in the whole day and not see a black face. Yeah, of course, yeah. Unless you're going to watch EastEnders, you know. So if you're not watching EastEnders, <laughs> you know. But even people begin. like will say like they watch these centers and they and it's supposed to be East London and be like, but there's only about four people that it, that are black yeah, in yeah, East London. Yeah. It's still it's there, but it's yeah. not as much. But yeah, but I, I think as long as it's there, <clears throat> you know, yeah. it's just when it's not there. But I, but I do, I truly believe that that um, there are enough people um, out there thinking the same thing, yeah. and it's it's changing. Yeah. It's it's, it's going to because it has mm -hmm. to change, mm -hmm. you know. And I think that I just think we just need to just get on with it and just do it. We need to do it. Yeah. You know, um, people that want to write stuff and, and do it, write it. Because we won't change until kind of someone just does it. We need yeah. someone to kind of do it. And there is yeah. a, a lot of gifted writers nowadays and that are, well, doing it in theatre. Yeah. Everyone just needs to move We on. do, and we all, we all have to do it, mm -hmm. you know. We've all got a part to play. Like you guys, what you're doing here, this is brilliant, you know. And, mm -hmm. uh, and you know, you're giving me a chance to, you're giving me a platform. Mm -hmm. So that's what, it just takes everyone just to do your little bit. Yeah. And then we'll be right. Justin for president. <laughs> Justin for prime minister. For president. I'll be uh, terrible prime minister. Can you imagine? Good. I'll be late You'll all be the time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll be like, what bombs? I didn't know like, what. Seriously, real bombs? Yeah. Oh shame. Oh no. What about uh, comedy? See, you're so comedy. Going up, back to stand up. Going back to stand up. Doing a tour. Has that ever crossed your mind? Yeah. And my, well, I did. I actually did my own uh, one woman show years mm. ago, but I, it was a really little mini tour. It was like. It's like Croydon and Shoreditch. Yeah. <laughs> Croydon, you know. I can't remember last that was before, Croydon. That was before the East London lines. You can only right. imagine. How did I get to Croydon from Hackney? Helicopter. I don't know. <laughs> but um, but I uh, yeah, I did a little little one and I and it's the one I did in I took to Edinburgh. Right. It was really, really small. Mm. But I would, you know, I'm I'm um I'm doing, I'm still I'm going back into stand. Yeah. I, um I'm doing um Felix Dexter's um mm. His, um, his tribute right, show yeah. uh, at Hammersmith, mm -hmm. uh, God rest his soul. So I'm doing that, really, really mm -hmm. honoured to be doing that. So yeah, so I think eventually I'd like yeah, to do, do you have a 
like a big like tour. A tour, yeah, I'd love tour. to. No one will come though. It'd just people be you. Come. No, no, no. <laughs> people my mum. <laughs> well done, Justin. Well done. <laughs> yeah. No, I'd I'd love to. Mm. Really, would love to. There's loads of things I'd, I'd love to do, and um, but I'm yeah, I'm kind of like this, almost like a an order. I've got yeah. to do it, it all in. Because so at the moment, are you writing? And what is your main thing you're doing at the moment? Um. Selling my body, obviously not really. <laughs> my, main, my main thing is uh, um, I'm writing. Yeah. Like, while I'm writing, obviously I, you know, I do different shows. So I like, you know, I'll do theatre. Yeah. Because sometimes you just pop up. I'll be on watching TV, and I'm like, oh, she's popped up. Yeah, there. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like with the David Williams' show. Yeah. Um, I'm doing. He's got another second series mm. of another of his sitcoms coming mm. out, and they just asked me to do that again. Yeah. So I'll be doing that in, mm. a, in a couple of months, and then I, and other bits and pieces, but. Um, but I'm mainly like writing, right? right because mm. I have to. Because I think people still want you want your own so. show where you're running it, and oh. you say that, and then when no. it comes on, you better watch it. I don't care. I know that people were watching Little Miss Jocelyn. Yeah, Everyone was talking about it. Everyone's I know. Like, yeah. It was just like... I know, and all my family in Nigeria, they always come back, because it's all in Nigeria. Oh, is it? Yeah, because they bought, like, Nigeria and, and a lot of, like, a lot of Africa mm. and the Caribbean bought three non-blondes and little Miss Jocelyn. Right, yeah. It don't pay, though. <laughs> <It don't> pay. <laughs> and so, um, so whenever someone comes, whenever they've been away, mm. they always come and they tell me, oh, I've been watching you, mm. which I think is lovely. So, um, yeah, yeah, no, I definitely want to come back, because I miss it as well. Yeah. I'm, you know, I miss it. So, I'm, and I've always had lots of different ideas mm -hmm. uh, going on and now I'm, I'm having meetings about them and I'm having to like tell them. That's the hardest bit though, because I've had those characters and ideas going on in my head. Yeah. I just sleep with these things, I think, oh, that's really funny. <laughs> and then I have these meetings and I'm like, yeah, it's about this girl, right? And she's like, and I start feeling really embarrassed because mm. I just think, is, is it funny? Is it going to work? But then we'll see anyway. But yes, yeah, soon. Soon. Did you have a lot of creative uh, freedom with, with Little Miss Jocelyn? Was there, or was there kind of like, you can do this, but you can't really do that? And, and no, do you know what? Um, because I wrote it, mm -hmm. so I, so that, that was, that was, um, I found that easier because I'm writing what I, uh, what I want to do mm -hmm. and how I want to express myself. So that was easier mm -hmm. rather than having writers, you know, giving me something. Mm -hmm. I go, oh, I don't know about yeah. that. Um, but I would say back then, the things that I did and got away with, I wouldn't be able to do it now. I'd be, I'd be beheaded. <laughs> Prince William's new girlfriend, ah, they will cut off my head. I couldn't get away with that now. Like, I think now it's, it's so strict. The yeah. rules are so stringent mm. that you can't, you can't say almost anything without offending some group of, of people. Even if you're not offending them, you know, mm. uh, TV execs get very nervous yeah. if you're going to do any joke about colour, mm. even if it's about your colour, mm. or joke about a dog. <laughs> You know, leave the dogs alone, the dog community, man. They don't, they don't deserve that. I'm like, why well, is a dog? So now I think it would be very different. But so back then I had, I feel like I had a lot of freedom. Um, um, yeah, a lot of freedom. And, and because I would perform it in front of a live audience, because they would respond to it, then, then you know, the execs thought, okay, right, so that works. And I just keep doing it. And if it worked, it'd go into the show. So everything I did in the show mm -hmm. had been like trialled and tested right, mm. in front of a live audience of just people that I didn't know. Before you even get aired? Yeah, yeah, because I would like, um, like we just had this place in Soho and we just do, so every time I'd write mm -hmm. and then I'd put it, I'd put on a show of, of like, like about an hour of just different characters and I would, and there'd be no, like no costume, like when I played Ignatius the cab driver, mm -hmm. I would just put a bit of eyeliner <laughs> on there and say, okay, now I'm the man and I just turn into the man and all, um, you know, or um, just to, like when the audience would like it. Mm -hmm. If they didn't get it, then I'd try it again mm -hmm. and rewrite it that right. night and put on. And we do like about um, two, sometimes three shows mm -hmm. um, in a row. If they didn't get it, I'd. Um, <laughs> the producer will say, it's not funny, just leave it. I go, no, it will be funny. <laughs> and I would do it again. And then if they still didn't laugh, I'd go, mm -hmm. right, so I'd scrap it. So things that didn't, you know, that the audience. And they'd give me feedback as well right. at the end of the show. They would, you know, say, oh, we really like this, didn't understand that, and I'd change things. And then the only things that went in were those that people laughed out loud right. at, you mm. know. I didn't want titters. Yeah. So, mm. so by the time I did it, performed it, and recorded it in front of the live studio audience, we already knew what worked. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so everything was trialled and tested. Before it even went out, so. Yeah, because I wanted to know as well, because yeah, I'd never course. written my own show mm -hmm. before and I wanted to make sure it was that funny. Is... Oh, God. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, so, yeah, so I, I tried it all first. Wow. 
good. Thank you so much, Justin. We're going to uh, wrap this up now, but before we do, we do our lovely can leave game. Okay. <laughs> yeah, lovely everyone's got that face. Okay. Oh, I know, it's just like snog Mary Avoid. Yes. Why are so, you going to be so dirty? No. Lovely can lead. Leave? Why not leave? Is it lo lovely? Lovely can leave. And leave, leave. oh. Leave. I thought it was like lead. I'm like, where are you leaving? So you love them, you leave them, or you leave them. Oh, why not so, just love so wait, loyalty oh. and. <laughs> No, Lala. that's boring. No. Okay. Right, go, go, go. Okay, so uh, Richard, oh, Richard Blackwoods. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Blackwoods, Kojo, <laughs> and Tyler Perry. <laughs> oh. So, gosh, you have those to three. Love the. Oh, dear. <laughs> love, lick, or leave. <sighs> Damn, when I'm a gold digger, so I have to pick. <laughs> Tyler for something, for love, because he would look after me <laughs> and he has his own studio so we can get this thing going now, I can be writing shows, we we'll make those shows, so let's love Tyler Perry, because <laughs> Richard and Coach ain't got their own studios. <laughs> lick, oh this is terrible, can I, can I, can I lick one of Richard's cheeks and one of Kojo's cheeks? No you cheeks, can't, no, you and can't. Then, and, then, and then I leave them both. You can't combine. I just go that, <laughs> and I leave them, like yeah that's it. <laughs> You can't combine the lips. I can't think because they're both my boys. I know, but this is why we do it. God, <laughs> it's like giving birth. You can't choose, can you? When you give birth to a child, you say, I've, I've, had, I've had twins. Which one do I keep? Mm -hmm. Let me just lick, lick their cheeks and then leave them. Oh, both. fine. So they, but they're your boys and you've left them boys. So I've got to leave them. Otherwise, they're going to want me to lick the other cheek, innit? <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Justin. Um, we know that loads of things are going to come out, and again, I'm waiting for the show. So, so am I. <laughs> Says my accountant. You know? so, well, thank you. It's been an uh, absolute pleasure to be oh, here. Thank you very much. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. And good luck as well. Thank you, Justin. It's brilliant thank what you. you're doing. It's brilliant. I hope this keeps getting better and better. Thank you so stronger, much. Stronger, stronger. Stronger in every way. Oh, yeah. uh, you've been watching Over Smash TV. We'll catch you soon. I'm in five, four, three, two. And you're watching Urban Smash TV, so keep it locked. Not knocked or socked or mocked or pocked or rocked, just locked. <laughs>